So hello, good day. I am Reina Liadana Teleros and I will be discussing the basic concepts and statistics. So for today's agenda, um, it's, um, we will be discussing what is statistics, basic terms in statistics, classification of variables, a quick recap, and an exercise. Okay, let's start. What is statistics? So statistics, an area of mathematics concerned with the gathering, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of substantial quantities of numerical data. So it is a set of methods for designing experiments, also evaluating and forming conclusions based on the data. Next, so here are some basic terms in statistics. So first, uh, data. So data are the values that the variables can assume. So data are individual pieces of factual information recorded and used for the purpose of analysis. Next, a variable. So a variable is a characteristic that is observable or measurable in every unit of the universe. So a variable is any characteristics, a number, or a quantity that can be measured or counted. So a variable may also be called a data item. So age, sex, income, expenses, uh, grass grades, eye color, and vehicle types are examples of variables. The third one is the population. So, uh, population is the set of all possible values of a variable. So, a population is a collection of similar items or events that are relevant to a certain topic or experiment. So, a statistical population can be a group of existent things or a hypothetical and potentially endless set of objects imaged as an experience-based generalization. And lastly is the sample. So sample is a subgroup of a population. So a sample is a smaller, more manageable subset of a larger group. It is a subset of a broader population with similar traits. So when population sizes are too big for the test to include all possible members of observations, samples are employed. A sample should be a representative of the population as a whole and should not be biased toward any attribute. Okay, moving on. Classification of variables. So qualitative versus quantitative variables. What's the difference? Okay, so let's start with qualitative variables. So words or codes that represents a class category expresses a categorical attribute. So sometimes it referred to as categorical variables. So these are variables that take on names or labels and can fit into categories. So examples are gender, religion, marital status, native language, social class, qualifications, type of instruction, method of uh, treatment, and etc. Right, uh, that are the examples of qualitative variables. Moving on to the quantitative variables. So number that represents an amount or a count. Uh, numerical data sizes are meaning, uh, sizes are meaningful are meaningful and answers questions such as how many or how much. I'm so sorry. And so uh, the examples are I, age, height, weight, income, university size, group size, etc. So the samples of quantitative variables. Okay, so let's move on to the quantitative variables classified as so qualitative variables classified as as two so we have discrete and continuous so let's start with the discrete variables so discrete variables data that can be counted so a discrete quantitative variable is one that can take 
um, um, that can only take specific numeric values rather than any value in an interval, but those numeric values have a clear quantitative interpretation. So examples are a number of days, number of siblings, um, usual number of texts sent in a day, and uh, usual daily allowances. And so Next is the continuous variables. So uh, it can assume all values between any two specific values like 0 0.5, um, 1.2, and etc. And data that can be measured. So a continuous variable is defined as a variable which can take an accountable set of values or infinite set of values. For instance, if a variable uh, if a variable over a non-empty range of the real numbers is continuous, then it can take on any value in that range. So, examples are weight, height, or temperature. So, that's all for our quick, quick um, discussion. So, for a quick recap. Quantitative variables take on numeric values. So number of students, number of square feet in a house, population of a city, age of an individual, height of an individual. Um, as, for, as per qualitative variables, take on names or labels such as eye color, gender, breed of dog, level of education, marital status. For the uh, discrete versus continuous discrete variables can take only certain values along an interval. The number of sales made in a week, the volume of milk bought at the store, the number of defective parts, and etc. Then for the continuous variables, it can take um, any value at any point along an interval, like the depth at which a trailing uh, drilling team strikes oil, the volume of milk produced by a cow, and the uh, proportion of defective parts. So, that's all. So, now, let's do the brain exercise. Okay, I'll be showing you. So, okay, classify each random variable as discrete or continuous. I'll give you a second to guess, and then answer it. So, a score of students in a test, how long students ate snacks, the number of deaths per year attributed to cancer. So, answers. Scores of a student in a test, it's discrete because it's okay. How long students ate snacks, it's, it's continuous. The number of deaths per year is discrete. So, okay. Again, discrete uh can be counted whilst variables only assumed okay next uh, last three the speed of a car number of voters favoring a new candidate the, uh, the time needed to finish the exam so the answers the speed of a car continues because you can only assume the speed of a car. The number of voters favoring a candidate is this key because it's, you can count that. And the time of needed to finish the exam is also continuous because you can only assume that. Okay. That's all. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.